I don't know why I'm out of breath. I literally just sat down. Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning in with me today. Your girl is back with a pretty little thing haul. It's been a while. The love that I have for PLT is the love I once had for Misguided. You want to cop an affordable dress, wear it one time, maybe another time off the gram. I've gotten some really cute bits from PLT and I'm going to share them all with you guys today. So um, let's get into it. So I got this neon orange bodysuit, quite plungy and it is also ribbed. The thing I like about the bodysuit the most is that whether you want your tits to be plunged or like plunging, you can undo the button, it's entirely up to you. It might have been last month or maybe it was January, I really don't know. But I wore this on Instagram, I live in long sleeved clothing as you can see it's one of my hacks especially if you are quite wingy you know like zoop like zoop zoop i wore this in my recent birthday vlog this is a gray mall tie up crop top love tops like this a lot you know when you tie the top you can tie in your breasts together a lot of the time when i'm wearing plunging tops i wear u bras and i believe pretty little thing does have u bras on their site if they do i'm gonna link them down below oh yeah i got this bikini top yeah but i really got it because i really wanted the bottoms but the bottoms were sold out. Hopefully when the bottoms come back in stock, I'll get the bottoms as well. But it's like a triangle bikini top. If it, it does have a leaf print on there, tropical vibes. I'm teasing a holiday. I'm teasing a holiday. So I got this laced up top, right? Guys, it's almost like a lace vest top. So cute. I love when like girls wear like tops like this on top of their t-shirts. I personally can't get away with that. So I'm gonna do skin out. I'm gonna do Congolese auntie. I love that you can also adjust the straps as well. I think that's really important. You know, you have to think about the titties. Guys, you guys are probably gonna think, Drea, that is so ugly. But guys, no. Like, no, not everyday bodycon. Picture this on holiday. So this is a leopard print cowl neck maxi dress. I got this in a size 14 because materials like this, they come up really, really snug. So I had to go a size up. They claim it's leopard print on the site. To me, it looks like brown spots, but I guess leopard has brown spots. So, okay, go off, sis. It has a bit of a cow neck and there's also a split in this dress. Thigh high, love. Oh my gosh, the thing I love about this dress so much is that it drops at the back and it's just fucking unique. I love it. Very, very sexy. I got this long sleeve roll neck midi dress, right? It has a cut out in the stomach area of the dress. I'm probably gonna wear this with a bum bag cause fuck you mean, like I have a belly. And you know what? I've been really looking at blue lately and I've been thinking like, I need to start wearing more blue. Look, I got my nails done blue as well. Look like, let me tell you, I can't wait to wear this dress. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this was supposed to be my birthday dress. Okay, let me show you guys. So I got this brown dress with these gold coin buttons all along the front of the dress. It does have a plunge, has adjustable strap the area for your boobs is kind of padded the dress is that banded material it's very very stretchy i love chocolate i love chocolate and i don't care if we're going into the summer i'm still fucking wearing chocolate till the day i die this is a chocolate dress for a chocolate girl living in her very own chocolate world fuck you mean let's go i'm so passionate sometimes i'm sorry i got the most congolese dress you could ever fucking imagine zebra or zebra how do you pronounce that word but i got this pink zebra midi dress right it is cut out in the center and it is mesh as in if your tits are exposed your minge is out so wear shorts underneath i love that it's mesh and it hugs your curves it's really really nice like the cut out is just oh is it a top and a skirt or is it a dress it, like this dress keeps you guessing i wore it with my purple sunglasses guys i was flexing on the gram you don't even know and guess what instagram's fucked up my engagement you guys are not seeing my posts go give that photo some love on instagram yeah i wanted this dress for time and i just thought oh shit then sorry ring the alarm i've been through this too long but i'll be damned if i see another chick on your aunt have you seen her perform that live listen <laughs> Her and the girls are like, chit chit, no, chit chit, no. Oh. Any 
Beyonce stands no. When I say y'all know, then y'all know. I wanted this dress for time. A black bandu dress, so it's strapless and it's runched in the center, so it hides your belly. It's not runched at the back, so please believe that ass gonna look fat. Everyone loves an LBD. Again, again. Tell me how should I feel when I know what I know And my female intuition telling me you a dog People told me about the flames I couldn't see through the smoke so I got this white mini rucksack bag So so cute Cute for the daytime you know I love that it has like a gold clasp Nice little white gold detail And you can also like adjust how long you want the straps to be I did get this neon orange hat I really really wanted one This is so cute Oh, so cute. Okay, let me just not even mess up my hair. I got some Carney sports socks as well in the black and orange. I, I do like the Carney brand and I do like the Carney collaboration on Pretty Little Thing. I worn these, but I got them in this beige and white too. I got these Carney red dungarees, which I got in a really large size. I could have really just got a size 12 because this is already quite oversized, but I didn't know how it was gonna fit on my legs and on my booty area. I have a problem with like boyfriend style clothing in that bottom area. I love the silhouette that Carney has throughout their line. Very oversized, very 90s, very New York. I, I grew up in the 90s, so I defo lived through that period when like clothing like that was like in trend and stuff. I know it looks mad crazy, but I'm gonna style them in a way that's like not so crazy. I know you guys are gonna laugh at my fucking boot cuts, but I'm here for it. I got another jumpsuit and this is a bright blue one. It's like a cotton material and it's like elasticated around the waist. The bottom area of the jumpsuit is, it has like a jogger fit. And then obviously it has like a zip up in the center. It is styled on the website to wear the zip all the way to the top, but I'll probably do like plungy vibes. I'm really into blue right now, as you can see. So I got these pink leggings with like reflective panelings on the front. They're really giving me active wear vibes. It's a very thick material. I need to figure out how I'm gonna like sell these leggings, but I really, really like them a lot. I love Pretty Little Things cycling shorts. I did get a few of those. I got these babies in neon. I did get these cycling shorts in a bright blue. Yeah, quite a bit of blue in this haul. Cycling shorts on the website are so affordable, so, so cheap. And I'm glad that they started to do like different colors and stuff. Did get these like royal blue track bottoms. These ones, they have like elastication at the bottom. You can kind of like cuff them if you wanted to. They have these little pockets and they have like this neon orange paneling, which is really, really cute. I love that. The cargo tracksuit is kind of Big right now. I always go like two sizes up in their track bottoms because I like them to fit quite oversized and I just find that was like my legs in general, the way that they just are. Certain materials and bottoms and stuff, I always just have to go a size up. In leggings and like cycling shorts, I'm straight 12. In things that are not a jersey material, I have to go at least two sizes, three sizes up. Which brings me to the last item in this haul, which are these jeans that I got in the plus section. On the website, it said that the model was a size 16 and I've actually seen that model in real life and she's a little bit taller than me as well so I thought okay so if she fits a size 16 I might be able to fit a size 16 as well that's me going up two sizes when I got them and I tried on the jeans they didn't fit I just got another pair sent over and I actually got these in a size 20 perfect size would have been a size 18 because the waist area here is just far too big I have to wear these with a belt but I do like how the bottom area fits and stuff and you know I'm currently in the gym right now so I'll probably have to get like the size down or potentially I could work into the other size that I had with straight jeans or boyfriend style jeans or mom jeans I always find this problem I don't know if you guys can relate but I really like the style of these pantalons let me know if you also find yourself going a few sizes up when it comes to certain clothing because of how your body's shaped like you don't necessarily have to be my size or bigger than me you could be a lot smaller than me as well yeah i just find things like this interesting so let me know 
as per usual i'm gonna list and link everything down below in the description bar so check everything down below this top is also from pretty little things so that will be linked down below too if it's still available because i got it quite a while ago thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today you guys know the drill i love you guys to the moon and back you guys know this i will see you guys on my next one bye guys I don't even know where to start and I've got a fucking headache so let me just drink my water and fuck up my lip gloss. Dip it low, pick it up slow, roll it all around, poke it out like your back broke. Pop, pop, pop that thing. If you're like my size or bigger, don't think that you can't slay because you absolutely can. You can't stay, you gotta go. Ain't no other chick spending your dope. Fuck, are you mad? But I do have makeup on it, but you know what it happens like literally every time I try on clothes I always get makeup on my clothes. This is the part where she goes mad It's in the house of the coast She gonna make everything all spin. Hey, down on the knees. Hey, fuck it up. Hey DBS stones No. Fuck out of here, sis. Ah! Beyonce. Do you know what's so funny when I actually say I wore this on Instagram? As if, like, Instagram is a party. Like, I wore this on Instagram. Like, shut up.